So the first thing we need to do is update the BIOS on the motherboard. Luckily, ASRock makes this easy. All we need is the motherboard, power supply, and a couple cables, and we need a USB stick with the BIOS on it. So you can download the BIOS on the ASRock webpage. Where you find the BIOS, you will also find a PDF with some fantastic instructions about how this is done. You download a zip file with the BIOS in it and unpack it. You have to rename the BIOS file and put it in the root drive on your USB stick, which basically means when you get into the USB drive, it should be right on top, not inside of any folders. Before plugging anything into the PSU, one thing we need to do is be certain that it's off. The only thing we need is this 24 pin adapter here. So typically the USB port that you're going to want to use is going to be the one right next to the BIOS button. Not universally the case, but in this case it is. Okay, once you get that seated, you just want to press the BIOS flashback button, hold it for three seconds. It will start flashing and continue for several minutes. When it's done, it's safe to remove the drive and turn the power supply back off. And that's it. You're done. You have a brand new BIOS on this ASRock motherboard. Afterwards, it's safest to let the whole thing sit for about a minute. Let the capacitors and the power supply fully discharge before you touch anything.